it was when I wrote that song that basically God made his presence known to me. Hello, welcome to the Atheist Vanguard. I'm Derek Hawk. I'm Phoenix. And I'm Shane Isgrig. We're the show that asks why, why, what you, what you believe in why. Uh, let's go to the first clip and right to the front lines. So my name is Shane. What did you say your name was? Mario. Mario? Okay, nice to meet you, man. So uh, is there um, a particular God that you believe in that you wanted to talk about, or was it just a God in general? No, I would just, I just believe in a, a God in general. A God in general. You know, just for, okay. you know, it's like, it's like I, look, I, I believe it like this, that the way the sun is shines for everybody, God is just the way the sun is. In other words, when, we, when people talk about a rose, you know, that there's any uh, a rose by any other name instead of rose. That's how yeah. I see. In other words, it's one God. I see God being the sun and, okay. you know, and he shines for everybody. And that's and every, just everybody's giving it a different name. Everybody. So giving, there's one God and we're all calling it different things. They, different, kind of thing. they, that's how I see it. Do you it's think that this God... Um, does or has ever communicated with people directly? Uh, I just believe he lives, he, 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 that he does live within each one of us. Right, so a person tells you, I had a conversation with God. Yeah. God told me, you know, for example, it's okay to own slaves or it isn't okay to, um, it isn't okay to marry the person that I love. Yes. And all that person has to give you is that God told them this. What would you say to a person who said That's, something like that? I, I, I'd say that they're being misinformed, or, you, or they're yeah. using religion in, in a way to communicate something that they believe is to be. To, in other words, they're just sharing their opinion through religion. Right. So right? they have a preconceived opinion, yeah. and they're using the God they believe in to justify it. Exactly. So it sounds like you aren't making any claims to having conversations with the God that you no. believe in. No. Okay. So if you haven't heard from this God audibly or anything uh -huh. like that, which sounds very honest. Yes. Can you give me an example of a story that has confirmed that this God exists to you? Like, is to there me, anything, uh, you know, like in, in line with what a miracle is or something like exactly that that has just that's, made that's, you? I, it wasn't until I experienced these miracles. Oh, you some, have miracle experiences? I have, a, I, have, I, have, I, have, I have one that's... I was I was actually writing a song that I wrote. It's called "The Voice Within." The Voice Within. Yeah, okay. And I wrote that when I was 31. All right. And it was when I wrote that song that basically God made His presence known to me. So God came. No, nah, He didn't to come you? to me okay. or nothing. I just like for me, my my experience for how He made Himself known to me, uh, like in the movie Matrix, where Neil finally sees uh, the all the letters coming down. Okay. And Neil sees a. Uh, that and he's been, but yeah, he, he, there's like that translation where his friend says, "Well, you see letters, I see people." Okay, that's how okay. I saw. Well, that's how I feel like he made his presence known to me. Like I, at that time, just when I wrote that song, I was, I was just trying to like create something nice for everybody. Right. And and uh, and I just I don't know. It was, it was just like a. Like I the created, feeling of knowing what to write. Or, or having created something. Right. Uh, the feeling of having created something, they say that you get endorphins when you get strong, you know, all this stuff when you get angry to you know, to make you stronger. Yeah. Or maybe some of these endorphins uh, made me, I don't know, just happier. But I felt like I right. accomplished something. And then all of a sudden, I just start, I'll, I'm looking at everything, every surface that I'm looking at has letters and numberings on, although it's like it's written on everything right. looks like it's written on like like somebody put a uh, uh, a clear sheet with writing over everything yeah. you feel almost as if even though you were the one doing the writing yeah. you feel as if you were helped in a way it, I, is that exactly. what i'm understanding yeah. that, yes. okay because i'm uh, also a writer yeah. and i've also had the experience of yeah. writing a poem or writing a song i do poetry and lyrics okay and I feel as if I'm learning in the process of writing. Okay. So, in other words, when I'm done writing the song, mm -hmm. I actually feel like I know more about the topic than I do afterward. Mm -hmm. Now, in my mind, this comes down to um, the process of thinking about it as I'm writing mm -hmm. it. You're trying to look for words that rhyme with, you know, the last thing that you said. And yes. in doing this, this game of finding things that rhyme, yeah. the words that come across your mind, uh -huh. you might realize points you didn't realize before. I and don't. it sounds like you've experienced that. Yes. Is that what I'm describing, the same thing you've experienced? It sounds similar. 
Oh, well. Okay. Right, that every, was, uh, oh. um, every rose has a thorn. No, no, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a rose by any other name. Yeah, what well, what he said exactly about the rose was he said a rose by any other name is still a rose. That's how I see God. In other words, it's one God and he shines for everybody and everybody is just giving it a different name. See, I like this guy. Um, I did too. He is uh, representative, to me at least, to, of the majority of Christians where they he's just... Not, he, he's theist. He's not religious. Okay. Um, well, in my opinion, I'm, I'm talking about Christians. Okay. Um, where they are looking at a God who is good. Um, they're kind of they're kind of overlooking the the bad, the evil, the the drowning people scraping at the side of the boat. Yeah. The you know the firstborn you know clinging to their last breath. He kind of looks over that. He's looking for a God of hope. He's looking for hope. Yeah. I like this guy. I think he is representative to, of of what a lot of people a lot of wish. people believe. Uh, excuse me. A lot of people uh, wish um, at least wish Christianity was, uh, but when you start confronting them on the other darker parts that's when we start running into problems yeah um even though it's uh, you know god for everyone it, uh, apparently his version of god doesn't actually speak to anybody not in any right sense. He, and i and i asked him that to clear. clarify mm -hmm. he said that god never spoke directly to him but mm -hmm. His experience, and we, the camera, I think it was the battery died or something right before he got into this, but you heard him say at the end that it was like someone put a clear sheet over everything, and he says that he saw, oh. I think I have it written down, so all of a sudden everything that I'm looking at has letters and numbers written all over it. It looked like something, somebody put a clear sheet with writing over everything. So um, that kind of makes me think, you didn't really write that song then, did you? You just copied it. It's like, if God God just put those words on on everything for you, then yeah. do you deserve any credit? Well, I'm not... Uh, it, I couldn't be uh, clear whether or not he was actually saying that he physically saw this or if he was just making a uh, uh, alliteration, you know, just a, 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 trying to be... Uh, provided a visual to right. uh, explain well, how he comparing felt. it to the Matrix, That's which why, I yeah. think is if anybody can do that it, to compare with Matrix to God, it's kind of cool. But it is cool. <laughs> it is really cool. Yes. But that's uh, what he was describing as more like ketamine. <laughs> Yeah, but um, I, I, <laughs> yeah, but what I can, what I see, I see what he's trying to say is that you know is that there's a world underneath the world and there's meaning within meaning. We're we're pattern seeking creatures. Oh yes, um, and I as a, as an artist and a writer myself, I, I understand you to the point which exactly what you're saying is when you have that moment of inspiration, that yes. true connection with what you're trying to convey, whether it's whether deep emotions, it is spiritual. It's therapeutic. It's therapeutic. Oh, yeah. That's the word it's spiritual. I would, yeah. It's it tra sometimes it feels like it transcends what is normal there, but it's not because we are looking at we are taking information and interpreting ways, just like I, I, I like his uh, analogy with the rose and it's a rose to you is a rose to me. It kind of like gives you yes. that argument where is red red to you or is red maybe green similar to you? Yeah, well, similar to that right? But the difference is like you know for example this mug. Same thing as the rose would be called maybe I'm sure other languages don't all have the same word mug, right? Mm. But if like regardless of what the word for mug is, yeah. it it's, does the same thing. It is the same thing, right? This right. Is regardless of what you call it. Yeah, this is Christianity light because in in the real world, that mug or or rose is tells is telling me that this mug here is evil and is going to hell, and this mug here wants to kill you, and we both he, hate uh, Phoenix's mug. I mean, if in your analogy the, the, the mugs are themselves religions, I could see how that would apply. Yeah. Um, well, religion and, and God, uh, you know, we're equating the two. Um, where <laughs> right. I don't, I don't know about it'd my be Jesus, difficult mug, my for Jesus me to, mug is better than your Jesus mug. Well, I mean, that's how they argue with gods. I don't know that <laughs> I would. Now we're talking about I'm not going to equate a mug with a deity because I think they it, differ in um, but it's okay more to ways. Equate it with a mug of rose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But no, we're understanding his point. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Make, it makes sense. Totally makes sense to me. Um, he says that uh, it was when I wrote that song that God basically made his presence known to me. So that makes me think he didn't say he was an atheist. And I, that's what I should have asked. Like, did you used to be an atheist and then God made his presence known? Or did you? I think because my yeah. question at the beginning was, do you have an example of a story of a miracle that has confirmed your belief? So he could have already believed in this um, 
He never did specify. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I think the case is most likely that he already believed and had a confirmation bias, and that's what he got from uh, the feeling of, you know, like we were saying, the words coming to him, right? Yep, yep. And believe me, I, I write poetry, I write lyrics. I know that f- I, I don't see visuals when I'm uh, writing, but I, I certainly know the feeling of writing and just feeling, like I said, it's therapeutic and... I feel like I'm thinking in a way that's helping me learn about what I'm writing about. Mm. And um, if you've ever written a poem about something you're going through, I'm telling you, you feel wiser about it at the end. And I, I do want to say that. So for me, like to hear somebody, somebody uh, describe an experience that I also have experienced and then say this is a sign from God, it's not the first time it's happened, but it's always interesting when it does. Uh, yep. When you do any kind of uh, artistic endeavor, any creative thing, um, you you end up getting a sense of uh, of elation as you're making progress on it. You uh, that sense of accomplishment, and then when you finish at it and it, it finish the project, and it actually turns out well, you actually will marvel over it. That's uh, true. I one and, time wrote a poem that was really well worded, but the message was fucking stupid. I was 16. I was well spoken, but still not smart. And then you want to go, okay, I've had this amazing experience doing this. And if you're already pre wired for, you know, a, a, a God belief being the source of all good things, here's this amazingly good thing. Yeah. It must have been God. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'd like, to, I'd like to hear what this freaking song sounded like. You know what? Oh. It sucks that the battery cut off because oh, yeah. he actually <laughs> started singing the song mid-interview. <laughs> it was it was a real treat. I would have loved to have heard it. Oh, yeah. Was no. it any good? It's, uh, it, it was... Um, I would prefer to not answer that. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Oh, well, one of those. One of those. Um, but no, like we're here to criticize ideas, not music. So that's why that's why I'm moving on. From okay. That. Yeah. But yes. that's that's the next episode. Uh, the the point is is Good that call. he did in fact sing in the interview, and it was great. Uh, the experience, anyway. Um, so <laughs> I like the uh, the greatest song I ever wrote. I don't know if you heard that song by Tenacious D. No, I don't know that I want to. Sorry. The greatest song I ever wrote, but I forgot what the lyrics were. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so great you can't remember it. So great so, it was so great. It. <laughs> you can only play it once. Now this guy, um, I, I see that his beliefs are really uh, ingrained and in probably something that he was raised with, was taught to believe was right. Um, yes. Probably never has really opened the Bible, but knows the basic Bible stories well, and the basic basic. No, he doesn't need to go into I, that. I'm gonna, I, I would disagree. I'm gonna respectfully disagree, and here's why. The fact that he doesn't believe in any particular religion. He didn't say that. He did. In the interview. I, I asked him, Do you are, are you of a religion or do, like do you just believe in a God in general? And he okay. said, just a God in general. Okay, so he did like he specified that. Okay, no. so you think he's a deist as opposed to a theist. Seems Deist is a, okay. is a that would be a subset closer. of theism. Yeah. But yeah, he certainly is a theist and uh, I would define No, he's definition. not deist. He can't be because deists don't believe in divine intervention and if God communicated yeah. with him, that I would, would by I would, definition be I, divine I default it to yeah. Christianity, sure. but, but well, yeah, here's really what I was matter. gonna say to agree. Really to um, to slightly agree with you as well, a lot of people that aren't religious, that were raised religious, they create a God that is very clearly inspired by the God that they were raised to believe in. Mm-hmm. Um, but then they just start eliminating have, the ideas that they don't like. And, they have um, their own spin on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, this is something that... Um, my mom does, and she's probably watching. Hi, mom. Um, so the way the way that this works, though, uh, she sees, well, God is all kind and God is all just. So no, you're not going to go to hell for not believing. And she sees contradictions, and the only difference is when I see the contradictions, I go forward with, um, okay, they b- can't both be true. She actually picks which one she thinks is, and which you know, I, I'm just saying is. Anybody that tells you they're spiritual but not religious, that's usually, like, this is the case for most people. Yep. Um, I also wanted to go into how, how he um, expressed uh, the uh, communication with God again. How uh, yeah. you, you brought up the question of 
if such and such things, ha- you know, if God told me these things and not the only evidence I had was just my word that he, that God told me to do. You know, to- His response word for word was, I would say that they're using religion in a way to communicate something that they believe, or in other words, they're just shoving their opinion through religion. I agree with that full heartedly. Um, yes. 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 And so it's, it's amazing when you, when you get, um, good points like this to agree with. I don't think he was, uh, I do want to say, I do think he was an intelligent guy. I mean, I'm questioning his experience and the reasons he's using to determine that this was God, but in other words, he was a smart guy, in my opinion. He had the concepts of what he believed down Mm -hmm. in his mind. He He thought about it. It was a rose-colored type of religion. Uh, You know, just looking through... I did like his rose analogy, because I think that is how a lot of people see it. Well, no, um, Mm -hmm. the the good parts of... The the inspiration, the the good feelings, you know. um, I Mm. really would like to have kind of Look at the flip side, you know, his, his thoughts of the afterlife, his thoughts of, yeah. of, uh, well, who knows? Maybe we'll get a chance to interview him again. Yeah. So, um, I, I wrote down, he actually said, maybe some of these endorphins just made me happier, which is like, he has an understanding of the natural explanation for his feelings. So, yeah, he's somebody who's thought about it. Endorphins, dopamine, things along those lines. All of that. Stuff, yep. All righty. Uh, do you have anything more to add? Um, I got to say, I think that wraps up everything I have to say. Yeah, what about I, you think? I think that covers everything in the video so far. Okay. Nice. Me too. Um, before we take off, uh, I'd like to do one quick thing. I think we've done it before. Um, kind of finding answers in the Bible. Oh, yeah. Okay. I finding get, answers yeah. in the Bible. Answers so what I want to do is kind of use the cookie, uh, the fortune cookie approach to the Bible. Right. Kind of explain, explain what oh. people are doing when they do this, when people who believe do this. What are they doing? Yeah, so... Uh, we're going to find and ask just general questions and just open to a random part of the Bible and see if we can get okay, an answer. Okay, yeah, so this, this is a thing I've, I actually uh, grew up with a little bit hearing about, you know, just... I have the Bible. I have the Bible. Yeah. I have the I Word have of a problem. God in front of me. So I'm going to open it, it to you know a what? random... Yeah, open it to a random page. I'll pick a random, random verse. Your eyes have to be closed. We went okay, over this. I made that mistake what last it, time. It, it, and I reckon yeah, it's exactly uh, applies to the situation. By the other hosts. Um, okay. Do I have um, to well, oh, yeah, before, I have we, before we pick one, uh, what issues are we going to address? Oh, yeah. We didn't even go over that. That's the most important thing. I got a shitload of weeds in my backyard. You got a shitload of weeds in your yeah, backyard. Stickly, prickly ones. Uh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, similar situation. My dog has a lot of uh, sticker in his uh, fur, if anyone who isn't, who doesn't live in Texas is watching, we have these annoying, spiky little fucking things that are in the grass everywhere you go. And if you have a dog, they stick to your dog, and you can't get the fucking things out. So my dog has a bunch of stickers in his fur. But no fleas. No fleas. He's oh, on flea good. treatment. Oh, <laughs> well, let's just say I have a essay I need to write an, a class assignment, and I'm struggling with have a writer's block or something. Okay. Okay. You know what and, I did? And, and no fleas. <laughs> I did kind of look at the page, so please open it one more time. One I, more time? That was okay. my own mistake. Right, so I'm going right, to take. Right. I'm going to go a little. I'm, I'm going to go old. I'm going to go New Testament. Well, what you? I'm going to go New Testament. Testament. Well, you just yeah. have to go far enough in the pages. Yeah, you'll yeah, yeah. be. But, most of it is the New Testament. All right, do I need okay, to pick now the verse? my nope my eyes. No, 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 okay, no. okay, okay, okay. And here. So what, what are we I? on? I am in. Let's see the the second, second. book of Corinthians. Two Corinthians on um. Chapter 4, nope, we're on chapter 5. Chapter 5, verse 14. For the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead. I want those fucking weeds dead. Okay. (laughs) If one died for all. And they constrain me. If one died for all, then all were dead. Um, Yeah, if he died... I mean, and you know what? They come back so it's like the resurrection. That's how you, that's how, I'm going to give you that. That's where you got that. I'm um, going to take that to be uh, kind of along the lines of if I can get one assignment down, I got what it takes to get them all knocked out. Yeah. Uh, for me, I guess I would just have to say that uh, but all were dead. I, I would hope. That doesn't All those really the sticker burrs. I was going to say, well, no, I, I was going to say that that doesn't actually really help my problem because the issue is the sticker burrs are already dead. That's why they're able to stick. So, 
Jesus kind of just said, go fuck yourself to me. Jesus but he had an you. answer for both of you, which has happened before. <laughs> Jesus failed you, man. Jesus has failed me yet yeah. again. <laughs> They're all interconnected, so you kill one, it, that, that poison spreads well, if all. He, I mean, if we went with fleas, we might have had a chance, but we didn't. If I went with fleas, I would have fucking got it. Yep. yep. You so. just take too, get too care of your dog. I took a loss oh, well. today. All righty. Right. Well, that just wraps it up for our last show. Thank you very much. And remember, if you have anything to add on this episode or any other episode, please, 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 yeah, please give comment. us a comment on YouTube. Give us a like. And you know what? If you didn't like it, give us a like down and tell us why. Come. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>